Okay, another great question. This is the last one I'll do, and then uh, I'll get you to practice some on your own. Uh, this one's, again, probably as hard as I can make it. Um, it's asking for the coefficient of friction. So that's our unknown. It's given us some kinematic stuff. So we're going to start with that, and then we'll do the F net equals MA stuff to see if we can figure this out. Eventually, we're going to do F net equals MA, uh, but we need an A to work with. So since we're given all this kinematic stuff, we'll start with that. The car is going 65 kilometers per hour. It skids to a stop in two seconds. We're going to use all that to figure out the acceleration. As an added wrinkle, I gave you kilometers per hour instead of meters per second. The magic number, uh, you can always do the long way, but the magic number to go 2 meters per second, you divide by 3.6. 65 divided by 3.6, I'm going to round it off. That works out to almost exactly 18 meters per second. Oops, didn't mean to change color, but we'll just roll with it. Um, in the kinematic setup here, we don't care about the d value, so that's kind of the definition of acceleration. A is V2 minus V1 all over delta T. So for these numbers, uh, 0 minus 18 all over 2, our acceleration is negative 9 meters per second squared. We'll deal with that negative in a sec. We'll get there. For this one, I'm going to play a little bit dumb because it helps with the setup. I'm going to do it exactly like the last three questions. I'm going to draw my free body diagram. Gravity down, normal up, F applied as a forward force, F friction as the backwards force. It's a boring case again. It doesn't say anything about the car being on a hill, anything weird going on, an elevator, or any other vertical effects. So that means the normal is the same as gravity. Gravity is always mg, so that means the normal is mg. Now in the horizontal, this is where I'm playing a little bit dumb. We're going to set up f net equals ma, just like we've always done. The forward force is f applied. The backward force, I'm making it negative, is friction. That's equal to m times a. Okay, why I said I'm playing dumb on this is think back to your driver training for those people that have started it. Um, Think about any time you've had to drive maybe a golf cart or something. Uh, the first rule of driving, well, one of the first rules of driving is you're not supposed to have a forward force when you're braking. So in a question like this, if a car's skidding to a stop, there is no forward force. You've taken your foot off your gas, off the gas, and put it on the brake, so that forward force drops to zero. So down here, really this should say zero minus FF equals MA. Really, that means negative. FF is always mu times FN. That's what's equal to MA. FF is equal to MG this time. So minus mu MG equals MA. The M's are going to cancel. doesn't matter how heavy the car is. M's are going to cancel. We're going to get that A. Oops. A is equal to minus mu times g. A cool little equation. Really, this is saying that uh, how quickly a car can accelerate is the mu multiplied by 9.8. In this particular case, we don't know the mu, um, but we do know the 9.8, so we can we do know the a, sorry, so we can solve for the mu. The car is accelerating at negative 9, so that's equal to negative mu multiplied by 9.8. The negatives are going to cancel, so really what we get is mu is equal to 9 over 9.8. There's an issue with the sign, so putting in the zero for the F applied kind of fixed it up. The acceleration was backwards in the same direction as FF, so if I'm going to put in negative 9, then I need to make sure that there's a negative in front of FF. Since the FF, since the force of friction and the acceleration are in the same direction, they have to have the same sign. Um, Using a negative 9, I had to have a negative in front of the FF. If you did it a little bit differently and said just FF equals M times A and use the positive 9, you should get the exact same number, 9 over 9.8, uh, which uh, oops, works out to be roughly 0 0.92. Again, this is probably the hardest question I can give you for now. Uh, we'll come back in grade 12 and do some more things to make them a bit harder, but 
really this is as tricky as it can get. These last two is as tricky as it can get in grade 11.